All right, so this is gonna be a really, really quick video today. Uh, this is a brand new 4v1 that just came out called Ashland. Uh, it is in Steam in America right now. If you want to buy, it, it's like 16 bucks. Uh, it's only as of right now, it's only in Chinese, and there's only Chinese servers. Like that's your only option. So uh, I would not recommend anyone really buying this game until they get North American support in, or like North American ser uh, servers and English support and European servers, all that. Because uh, it's a little bit rough, but honestly, the game itself is really good. I'm just gonna address it before I even press find match. Most people just say this is like a Dead by Daylight knockoff, and you're gonna see a lot of similarities to Dead by Daylight. Like this game has so much DVD in it that it's kind of ridiculous, but it does its own cool little things too that I wish I could explain, but I kind of have to use my phone to translate the screen with like Google Translate. I search for a match now. The matchmaking is really quick. Um, but yeah, just think of it as like Tomb Raider meets DBD. Because there's like a treasure hunting element and doing like your five gens, but these are like more like artifacts. Opening gates getting out. Killers have red stains. Uh, like you'll, you'll see like a lot of familiar things. You have like the pallet replacements, which are torches. Uh, but like through and through, this game is very, very dead by daylight. In most of mechanics, but the mechanics they do take from DVD are, like, all very, very good mechanics. Like, even down to, like, entity blockers, like, where you triple vault things while in chase, like, that'll get blocked off. Like, it, it, it takes a lot from it. So it's very easy, like, at the surface to call it a knockoff. And to an extent, like, it's, it's kind of accurate. But I do think it does enough different to warrant existing. And I think it actually might top DVD in certain areas as well. Which is really, really nice. Uh, I just wish I knew, like, what, like, all these menus said and whatnot. I've just been playing as this girl. I unlocked her. I went cool. I got, like, some perks on, but, like, I'm not fully sure what they actually do. I think one gives me, like, a speed boost, like, Hope does in DVD, which is, like, a speed, speed boost after the last objective's done. It's, like, it, I'm just trying to, like, wing it. <laughs> but... Even while just winging it, like, in 250 ping, it's really, really good. I've been very happy. Uh, if this game does interest you, uh, after you, like, see the gameplay and, like, you do want to buy it, just know that if you're in America and you're playing on these Chinese servers right now, uh, Killer is borderline impossible. Most hits don't register. Survivor here, it works. Like, you can get away with it. Like, you're going to kind of drop stuff early and you'll get kind of hit from a little bit far away. Which, so be it. It's kind of the risk you take. They may, they outline it very clearly that that will be a thing that happens to you uh, when you go to buy the game, when it's, like, China only. And that's okay, but that queue took, like, two minutes. I've had queues, like, actually pop, like, in a second before. It's really nice. So hopefully this match just kind of loads up when you just hop into it. Cool. But uh, you'll see, like, some of the different elements here, hopefully. Because I only plan on doing, like, one match for the video, give you, like, a little taste of the game. It's 1 p.m. I'm actually very tired, but I figured why not? Why not? I still don't know like all the mechanics either, so I'm still learning this game. So I can't like really tell you what everything does, which I think I've already mentioned before. But you know, we'll see. All I know is we turn on five things. Each thing that we turn on also gives you a gem. You can collect a gem. You can hold up to three of them. Each gem has, like, a different kind of effect to it. Like, one makes you invisible when someone goes down. Uh, I've had ones that kind of, like, give me speed boosts. You can find items, like, in these crypts on the map. And you can hold two of them. I had an item that lets you see, like, uh, lets you see the killer's point of view. So, like, it's just, like, I'm watching them play. Uh, and I have, like, ten seconds of use out of it, which is really cool. Um, killers can get items, too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and there's no hooks. Like, you, uh... You, you die when you're bleeding out. Like, you get slugged. Or, like, the equivalent of a Dead by Daylight slugging, and you can get executed. And when you get executed, uh, you bleed out faster by the looks of it. But if you're watching this chase, and you're like, this looks very familiar. Because it is. Like, you still got a loop and stuff. Like, it, it, it wears DVD, like, on its sleeve. Not, you know, like, it, it, it's pretty DVD. 
And honestly, that's fine. Uh, the other asymmetrical game that came out like back in September, Gold Express, I still play that as well. I did a video on that one a while back, and I think that game is just fantastic. He, I had no idea he jumps. That's interesting. I thought this dude just had like a big lunge forward. I had no idea he could jump. This man also likes getting looped. Here you go. But yeah, he has a big lunge forward and he hits you, and with like the 250 ping, you kinda get hit a little bit quicker than like you'd really anticipate. And that's fine. Um. Let's run this way. Let's try and keep him off us as long as we can, give my team a lot of time, because doing the objectives actually takes a good long while. Ooh, I actually got the stun. I thought for sure he was gonna hit me. Okay. Oh, he still got that. Okay. This is fine. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, there's actually an item that survivors can get. It's a sword. And that sword, when you hit a killer with it, just stuns them and pulls them out of, like, the execution animation. And picks me back up, like, automatically. Which is really cool. And these crypts here, like, those are kind of, like, the equivalent of, like, Dead by Daylight lockers, except, like, you search them. And then you can also get items out of them. And then you can also hide in them on top of that. Which is really nifty. I'm fucked. Oh god, he actually missed. I'm surprised he missed. I'm running this boy. Except I'm gonna get hit now. Any second. Damn. Oh, does this man with the, uh... The katana, is he here? <gasps> My hero! This dude is a beast! <laughs> this dude is actually a beast! Save my ass twice. Oh my god. Alright, can we finally work on an objective? Get some gems? Because my team's got nothing done. Can you heal me? <laughs> that was fun. That was really, really fun. Oh, this is actually almost done. Oh yeah, this game also has skill checks, you'll say. Like, you're probably already thinking, like, this is only DVD, because you've seen, like, almost no different, like, interesting mechanics. But, like, I promise you they're there. They are. I've seen some really, really cool stuff. Let us get this open. Okay, I don't know what this gem does. But we have it. But yeah, these gems, like, they have some passive ability. I don't know what all of them do, though. Oh, right, there's actually map collision, too. As stuff finishes up, you'll see, like, the uh, stuff on the screen shake. And you'll see dust falling down. And if you're, like, in a danger zone, like, you can get buried under rubble. And you have to, like, dig yourself out. Like, there. Right on cue. We actually go under it on purpose. You know what? It didn't work that time. Really? Oh, because uh, my I guess my gem activated. I guess this gem protects you from it, by the looks of it. Looks like it shields you. Okay, interesting. I may have just unwillingly used the gem. Darn my uh, lack of knowledge of Chinese. Can I search these vases, actually? Nope. They do make noise. Interesting. So I only came down... Ooh, there's a crypt here. Let's search it. I only came down here because I played on this map before, uh, the other day. And I knew there was an objective down here at least once. From, uh, one play of this. Ooh, 
What is this? Oh, I think this might be a speed boost, let's say. Is it? Yeah, that's kind of like a speed boost. I don't know if it does anything else like that smoke trail behind me, but it definitely makes me go a little bit quicker. So maybe if I saw the killer coming, I could just kind of like activate it and get like a quick boost away. Stuck. <laughs> Unfortunate. Just gonna drop that early. Bye. That worked out in my favor. Also, you might notice there's like no music in this, and I think like kind of the lack of music's kind of it's kind of appealing to me, honestly. I sort of like the silence of the game. It's just very, very, like, it's very subtle. Actually, let me search this. What do we got in here? Because my team's doing pretty good. We already got four out of five. The killer's actually got nobody yet. Like, I've been down twice, but, like, no significant process has been done to me. We got the same item. Okay. Alright, this actually might trap me, so you can kind of, like, see what that looks like. Nope, just missed. But once we get this, too, the, uh, the final treasure should be unlocked. And the final treasure is where all those chains up, like, where I'm kind of, like, trying to angle the camera. There's a big treasure chest up there that has, like, a few actions to open. And you get, like, some really cool stuff out of it. I don't know what it is. All I know is it's cool. Hello, friend. Oh, a secret door. I think that she might just found a secret door, actually. I just noticed, like, that highlight down there. Because I once opened up a secret door that got me out of the map early. But I'm not sure, like, how that mechanic works. Yeah, let's get this final treasure chest, if I can. Got it. And door is open, so let's get out. That killer struggled, we barely saw him. Which is a shame. But we were able to run him really well. Like, I wonder if, like, he's, uh, like, in North America, like, Europe, like I am. Well, North America, like I am. Because it makes killing very tough. I can do it now, because I've kind of, like, figured out, like, the whole mechanic of it. And figured out, like, how to time it right, but it's tough. So I kind of wish I was able to, like, show, like, more killer game, or, like, more killer gameplay from him. But I escaped. I got a lot of treasure. I can't complain there. Pretty nifty. Should I show a ki Maybe I can show a killer game. It's only been like 14 minutes this video. Uh, oh, I unlocked something? I guess I... I think this is a challenge book. So I think I did a challenge or unlocked a new challenge I can do. Eh, might as well queue up as a killer. If I can get a quick match. Because I can do it, but... Just know that, uh, with the high ping of these Chinese servers, it's gonna look rough. It's gonna- yeah, it's quick. It's gonna look really, really rough. But why not? We'll show both sides. Like, I'm probably gonna get stomped. It's very, very hit or miss, uh, for me.
Okay. I actually kind of forgot I was recording a video for a second. I just completely zoned. Sorry. It's really late. <laughs> it's getting close to my bedtime, as it usually is when I'm recording these. But yeah, I'm probably going to get stomped. It's, it's four Chinese players, meaning they're going to have a very, very good ping. But you do see some, uh, some, like, Americans, like, Europeans on this game kind of, like, mingling around, too. Those are the easy ones to kill, because, like, they're all laggy, like I am. It kind of, like, counterbalances or, like, balances each other out. Balances things out. Words are hard. But, yeah, this is either going to go really well, or it's going to be completely pain. The one thing I figured out with Killer on these high ping servers is uh, I gotta use my special ability. Which is a dash that has a little bit of a cooldown on it. It's kind of what works the best. Because it's a non-stop lunge forward until I get the hit. So if I just time it just right, it's gonna guarantee me the hit. And I tend to get the hit like four, like probably like four meters, four feet away from like Words are really hard right now, but I, I get the hit, like, a lot earlier than it looks like I should. Sometimes. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, yeah. Got her. I love that ability so much. It's my high ping destroyer. If I somehow stomp here, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Oh, and also, shout outs to this game for having something way more consistent than scratch marks in a DVD. Like, I really, really like this. Uh, this little smoke trail I do. I think it works very, very well. She may get away. No, she won't. Hi. Now let's go execute her. Here you go, princess. And she's down. And I always have her aura. So you can technically camp your slugs if you want to play like a more like proxy campy kind of game. You can. And sometimes it works out very, very well, actually. I'm gonna go for this one because she's like set up in a way easier spot for me to chase here. First one's down about 30% health. So they are definitely taking their sweet time to get people. That was a very easy hit for me to get, which is nice. Do I want to check up on my slug down there is the question. Nah. But she did just lose a lot, a lot of health. Oof. Oof. Should I show, like, what happens, like, if I can get close, I can show, like, what happens with the M1. The basic attack. It gets tough, but you can also charge it up. Which I think is really, really cool. Alright. They've still got no objectives done. And because, like, the lack of, like, a terror radius kind of in this game... You can kind of get a sneak up a lot easier, I feel like, and just kind of go for the cutoff like this. Uh, with ping! With ping, it stuff gets a little bit tough. Because <laughs> it's kind of like a delay, like, when you kind of do your attack. So I try and do, like, a last second, like, adjustment of my attack. It's not good. And then that's what happens if you try and do, like, a basic attack. Got her. So that's why, like, why I say, like, don't even bother doing, like, an M1 basic attack if you're on a high ping. Because it just doesn't register it. Whereas that special attack does. 
but also makes life very difficult because you gotta kind of like aim that special attack every single time. Oh, I got an ability. What does this do? Oh, this is like a tell. Oh, that's like a ward. Okay, what does this do? Oh, there's another mechanic I forgot about too. When you execute someone that's holding a gem, uh, they lose that gem they're holding. And this game, it's all about protecting your treasure. Like, as killer, like, I think they prioritize more about you guarding the treasure than actually killing others. So you're kind of, like, influenced, to my understanding, from, like, what I've read and understood from others, so you're kind of, like, influenced more uh, from atta uh, to attack the, uh, the treasure holders, if you will. Oh, she had a shield. That's right. The gold, uh, the gold treasure lets you absorb a hit. Oh, damn. Oh, that's not good. I'm starting to lose really quick. Okay, she left. I don't know if I should keep chasing her or not. I feel like chasing her is a mistake because they're working on objectives pretty quick now. So I'm going to let her get away. Looks like I made the right call. That's good. Excellent. Got him. Cool. Let's take my treasure back. <laughs> For what this this I'm happy with how this match is going. For what this is, this isn't bad. No shame. Was this my third execute, my fourth execute? No shame in that. Alright, yep, this is like a teleport. Okay. I went to go teleport and they were actually on it, it looks like. First hit. This area down here seems super rough to me. <gasps> I thought I actually got it. I thought she screwed up big time, and she did. She 100% did screw up big time. But I didn't get the good follow-up. There we go. Yep, this is the one that's hurting. Let's get her. Yep, this is a teleport. Okay. I knew I had a teleport item, I just didn't know how it worked. Yep, someone was here. Oh, interesting. Honestly, I've got good pressure. Uh, but I don't know like how far along this last one is now. I'm shocked it gave me an M1. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Alright. 
So you're almost definitely going to the main treasure up here. Yep. He took it. He got it. We gotta get him. He has the best treasure. We're getting him. Okay, he's gone. Cool. Sir, you get nothing. <laughs> and they left, so it looks like I got two kills. Cool. Not bad. What that match was, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that result. Not bad. But yeah, that's Ashland. There's like a match from both perspectives. It's a really cool game. Uh, it basically is DVD in many ways. But I love the treasure element and I kind of love the gameplay flow. Again, would not recommend anyone buying this game until they get English support and like, you know, US servers in. Unless like you're in China or like, you know, near China and know how to speak Chinese. Then like, yeah, no, it's a way easier sell. But cues aren't bad so far. I haven't had an issue at least. And I've had a really, really good time playing it. So hopefully uh, the support for English and stuff kind of comes out soon. Because it's a really cool game to kind of keep your eye on if you're into 4v1s. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Toodaloo, tata, all that good stuff. And take care, y'all.